Hi, here is Liprandi and this is Ace McLeod from the old Centurions, produced by Kenner in 1986. In the near future, an evil cyborg called Doc Taylor is trying to conquer the Earth, and in our defense we have a team of military experts wearing amazing suits called exoframes, on which all kinds of weapons and equipments can be immediately teletransported. Ace McLeod is the daring air operations expert, and he is described as a cocky womanizer. Centurions was uh, an animated TV show that started as a 5 episodes miniseries, but later 60 more episodes were produced. Behind those designs, there were talents from comic book legends like Jack Kirby and Jill Kane. And there was also a DC Comics comic book. This was one of those 80s action figures line in which toy line and animated TV show were strongly connected. One existed only to promote the other. And Kenner made big action figures for the Centurions. They stand just about 7 inches tall. Here we can see Ace McLeod next to another flying action figure from the 80s. And as you can see he looks like a giant next to poor Stratus. He's got also a good amount of articulations. Ace can look from side to side, but also he can look up. In this way he will look great in a flying pose. Now we also have ball jointed shoulders. He can bend here at the elbows. There's a ball joint here at the knees, uh, the hips, sorry, and he can bend here at the knees. But of course, the main attraction in the whole toy line were the exo-frames. Ace McLeod came with a bunch of accessories. As you can see, he's got also holes all over his body. We can peg all of the accessories into these holes, building different configurations, customizing the action figure for all the different missions you can think of. This particular equipment he came with is called Sky Knight, by, but uh, there were a few other uh, different sets to prepare him for space missions. Now, we can take uh, all of these accessories and peg them onto his body. So, this motor here will fit nicely on front. We have a couple of thrusters that uh, maybe will look great on his calves. We still have a big missile here that will fit nicely here in front of the figure. We now take uh, this small gun and we put it here on uh, his bicep. Now we've got uh, a couple of missiles that will fit nicely here and the other one will be here on the forearm. And now we still have a, a couple of small guns that I will put here on the wings of his backpack. And now I can put the backpack onto the figure here. We still have one more accessory, it's the helmet. Each figure in the line came with a helmet and these were made in soft rubber. In this way they will not come off too easily from the action figure. And they fit really nicely. Now, there is one more action feature in this toy. Just like all of the other uh, members of his team, one of the holes on the action figure is quite different from the others. I hope it will focus. Here it is. This hole here is quite different because it's got a separated piece inside. When we peg the accessories into this hole and we turn it, it will activate the action feature. Now his wings are moving up and down. Well, this is not the most exciting action feature, but it works and it looks fine. 
Ace McLeod is a big and heavy action figure. It's well made and well constructed. I can tell you that most of the action figures you can find in a toy store today will look cheap next to this one. Now these are quite expensive and since they've got so many accessories, probably if you buy them loose, they will be missing some of these plastic bits. But they are great. Ciao! Thank you.